Hey, this is Ashley James from Foyer, and today we're going to go over seven quick pro tips for Neo. Tip number one, connecting walls. So anytime you're working in Neo and you find that maybe you can't apply a texture to the floor or to your ceiling, just it's not connecting correctly, or you get an error point when you render, if you go into 2D, you'll see yellow points at the end of walls, and that means they're not connected. So what you can do is you can either double click on one of those, sometimes the AI will immediately connect it to whatever wall is near it, or you can just draw a brand new wall. Sometimes that just makes it a little bit easier, but that way your render comes out correctly. Tip number two, geometry mode. We have three new modes now for how you can view your work in Neo, and it's purely on how fast you want it to be optimized to work for you. So optimize mode, is going to make, as you can see, those things were a little bit more like cube-like, but when you zoom in, then you can see the detail. Uh, the next mode, um, again, you're going to see a little bit more uh, detail here, but it's not as high-end as this. Now you see all the, the uh, details in heavy mode, which is definitely useful if you're working with different types of fabrics or textures or wanna make sure things are laying closely. Tip number three, open doorways. So open doorways are gonna work just like a solid door would work. You can look them up in our catalog, just in the search bar. Save whichever one you wanna work with and then just click, drag, and drop. You can physically, manually move with the arrows to get it exactly where you want it or like windows and doors for me, I always like to go to edit and then change the rays from the floor to exactly where I want it to be and then just move it to the wall you need it to be. I kind of liked it on this, um, this open closet. I thought it might be kind of fun. <laughs> so if uh, we also have stationary uh, doorways as well, so it doesn't have to be docked into a door, or I'm sorry, a wall, the AI will automatically know where that needs to go. And then you can also use a um, floor docked shape so a floor duct cube is great. We have a solid one and a multicolor one. The multicolor one allows you to um, and add different colors to each side of the cube, which is great if you're working in different areas that you need different colors. But if you're just like me for this purpose, I just want to create like a partial wall. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And then you can just apply whatever color you want to it and the whole thing will change. You can also apply a glass um, texture to this so then it becomes like a glass partition for an office or a bathroom. There are so many uses for these shapes in Neo. Tip number four, navigating. If you don't have a mouse, go get one. That is going to make working in Neo so much easier. So whenever I'm out of Neo, I always double click on an area that I wanna zoom in on. That's what you do, you double click to zoom in. And then you can pan out either with the rollerball on the top of your mouse, or if you have, like me, a smart mouse from Apple, you're just going to pan in and out like you would on a tablet. And then you can just hold with your mouse on a certain area and pan around the room. Tip number five, render controls. You have the option to save multiple views, which is really great if you're working with a client that wants to see the sp same space with multiple options. You get to see that before and after, or three different color cabinet options, or kit bathroom options, bedroom options. You can also zoom in and out with point of view. You can go up and down with your camera height. Um, there's also a... Uh, concealer as well as this is a just kind of like a clip view now the concealer tool is great if you're working in a smaller space as well or if you don't want to go back and delete something um, just to bring it back in if you want to as you see delete a wall you can it's actually just hiding one you hold the shift button on the keyboard and then you click the wall or object that you want to hide and then you're good to go and you can always unhide everything. Tips number six and seven, auto lighting and auto sun. So the blue and yellow, that is your sun. And you can move it around how you need it to go. It really helps make the space a little bit more lifelike and less computer. It softens some of the edges of certain things. You can change your light intensity. 
Um, if you look at the floor where the light's coming in, you can see the difference between morning and night. It disappeared. That was kind of cool. Uh, so you can definitely show multiple options for the space. And then go for that 4K high quality. Super fast render. It'll probably take about less than 10 minutes for that to render for you. And if there are any errors, like walls need to be connected, that'll show up there as well. And there's my finished product. So thank you guys so much. Happy designing.